Okay. Now I've got those two lines which are at 90 degrees to each other. So I'm going to use those as guides to mark a line down the length so I can cut slots. I'm going to use a dovetail, my uh, dovetail saw to cut slots down there. Okay, so I've cut some slots. That's as deep as I can go because my it's a back saw and the the uh, rib on the back of the saw gets to the top of the uh, or the end of the dowel and it won't get any deeper. Okay, I'll take them. So, I'm taking my measurements off of this, uh, spur center. Now I want oh half an inch or so of that to be sticking out the end of the spindle. Uh, basically the way this actually does it uh, only goes in about to that where that shiny mark is. So I want uh, that diameter, the large diameter, at about, oh there, I'll say. So now the length of the taper from that shiny mark on the on that one to that uh, so I want the small end of the taper to be right there. And the small end of the taper is that diameter.
So basically, from this shoulder on this side here, uh, I want to taper down to the the diameter. I want to taper from the diameter that is right now to the diameter that is right now in that distance. And I want it to be a straight taper. Now the whole point of this thing, cutting these slots, is that I want the, uh, when I push that into the Morse taper, I want it, the uh, fingers between the slots to be compressed to make the hole smaller. Um, so in order to do that, I really want the pressure of the Morse taper out in this area here rather than back here is that slot doesn't go that far and uh, so putting pressure there really doesn't do me any good so I'm going to actually take a little more out down here so that uh, most of the pressure will be out here Okay, so basically, in theory, I could just part that off there and I'd be done. But that leaves a pretty short section of uh, uncut wood. So I'm going to uh, actually continue out here at a small enough diameter that it will fit through the uh, hole in the spindle. And I know that this bar will fit through the hole in the spindle. So I will make that section about the size of this bar. 